The Great American Eclipse was on August 21st, 2017. In my location, it started at 1.09 p.m., reached totality at 2.37 and 56 seconds p.m. It reached its peak at 2.39 and totality ended at 2.40, with the eclipse being completely over at 4.02 p.m. Here's a before picture of the sun, taken using my binoculars as a projector. Here's a picture of an image of the sun taken shortly after the eclipse began. In the upper left hand corner you can see the moon shadow just starting to cover the sun. Here's a picture taken at the halfway mark between the beginning of the eclipse and totality. This picture was taken shortly before the eclipse reached totality. Here's a picture taken during totality. The disk of the moon is obscured by the glare, but it is visible. You can also see hints of the corona. The same goes for this image where you can see both a faint image of the moon's shadow and the corona. The same thing goes for this picture. What is happening is that glare from the corona is partially obscuring the moon's shadow. In this final image from my own camera, the moon's shadow is dimly visible and you can see the corona around it. This is a picture of the eclipse taken by NASA and is very close to what I could see with my unaided eye. Here is a video loop taken from space of the moon's shadow moving across the Earth's surface. This is a very interesting perspective from which to see a total eclipse of the sun, since it is unusual to actually see the moon's shadow moving across the Earth's surface. A total eclipse of the sun is definitely one of the most spectacular phenomena in God's creation, even more so because you can see it directly with your own eyes. The experience of being present at a total eclipse of the sun cannot be duplicated by video. It is something you really need to experience for yourself. And it was well worth the wait.